ladies and gentlemen it is that time final preview review for 2017 today we are reviewing the preview for episode 122 of dragon ball super titled for one's own pride vegeta's challenge to the strongest this episode airs on january 7th so there will be no dragon ball super on the 31st of December but I don't want to see you guys with nothing to watch for two weeks so here's what we're gonna do if there is a Dragon Ball Super topic that you'll like to see me discuss leave it in the comments below the comment with the most upvotes by Thursday night midnight December 29th will be the topic for my next video after that point to help out with the lack of episode next week but that's it I know you guys are already excited about 122 so let's hop into this Hey, it's me Goku. Only our Universe 7 and Universe 11 led by Jiren remains. Vegeta is entering a huge desperate battle with Jiren. Vegeta, even you won't be able to beat Jiren so easily. Draw forth power beyond your limits. Next on Dragon Ball Super. For one's own pride, Vegeta's challenge to the strongest. Don't miss it. This looks insane. This is what we've been waiting for. Let's hop into this analysis. Okay, so right away it looks like we're gonna start off with Goku versus Jiren. We see them clashing here. Who clashes like that though? Who clashes elbows like that? Can you imagine how much that hurts in real life? That's ridiculous. Anyway, it seems like the episode is likely to start with the two strongest guys of their respective universe going at it. I'm happy to say it looks like Goku is done with the stamina problems. He's in Super Saiyan Blue here right away, so hopefully there's no more talk of him being out of energy, out of stamina. Okay, this is a little bit disrespectful. It looks like Vegeta tried to jump into the Jiren Goku fight and attack Jiren from behind from a blind spot maybe, and Jiren just dominates him with one hand without even looking at him. This is not good. This is not a good start, but I think maybe Vegeta was just testing out Jiren in the same way he tested out Eniraza. And this is probably just a gross underestimation of how strong Jiren is. Okay, this is good. So it looked like that punch had little to no effect on Vegeta. And Vegeta is back in the mix. He's attacking Jiren again. And let me say, he looks pretty BA right now. He looks pretty serious right now. So this is good. Looks like it may be a slow start in 122. But Vegeta gets right back into the mix again. Okay, and here we see Frieza looking kind of terrified. It looks like he's getting tossed around by someone. We can't really tell who it is. Guys, I'm pretty sure that person is Despo. The reason why we can't see him is because he's moving so fast. We know that in 122, Frieza will be challenging Despo. And this is probably their introduction to each other. Despo attacking Frieza before he has a chance to figure out what's going on. Okay, somebody please tell me what on earth is going on here. Why is Goku smiling like this? It looks like he's fighting Jiren. And I'm thinking maybe he's happy because he finally gets that moment of Zen where it's like, yes, this is what I wanted. I wanted to fight strong guys and you're the strongest guy out there or something like that. But he looks way too relaxed, way too calm. If this is Jiren that he's fighting, and I'm pretty sure that it is, Jiren isn't someone to play around. So did Jiren say something to Goku? Did they have some sort of conversation to make Goku smile or happy? Like what's going on here? Somebody let me know in the comments what you think is going on here. Okay, and this pretty much confirms that it is Jiren who Goku is fighting. And Jiren isn't smiling, so what was Goku smiling about? Okay, and I thought this was a key blast at first, but after doing a little bit of detective work, it looks like this is actually Jiren in flight. Let's zoom in real quick. Yeah, that's almost without a doubt Jiren, and it looks like he's dragging someone below him, either Goku or Vegeta. They have black hair. If you want to know how Jiren is flying when there's no flight allowed in the Tournament of Power, I can do a video explaining that, but it looks like he's in almost full flight here. In all fairness, though, he could have just jumped. Maybe he just sort of jumped parallel to the ground and it's so much force it looks like he's flying okay so this upside down image of vegeta with the same color key around him i think vegeta was the one getting dragged by jiren just now but the person just now looked like they had black hair so maybe vegeta was in base mode for whatever reason and this is him powering up to get out of Jiren's grab. Okay, and here we have Topo. At first, I thought he was running over to help Jiren out, but the look on his face makes me feel more like he's in a fight himself. He is in a fight with someone. Let's find out who that is. 
Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, it is confirmed. Gohan versus Topo. This is crazy. This episode just got about three times better if we are actually getting to see Gohan versus Topo. And look at this image of Gohan. This is gonna be a beautiful, beautiful episode of Dragon Ball Super, guys. This is such a crisp looking image. That aside, Topo is close to God of Destruction level. If we are going to see a one-on-one -on -one fight between Gohan and Topo, this is likely what is finally going to push Gohan over the edge. Oh my gosh, I just had a thought. Is the title for 123 referring to Gohan? Maybe I'm reaching too much, maybe I'm reaching. Let me know if I'm reaching in the comments below. But what if 123 is Gohan getting that new power he promised Goku he would before the tournament started. I'm just gonna put this aside for now. I'm gonna think about this. If I come up with anything, I'll make a video about this specifically, but this is a big deal, guys. Gohan versus Topo confirmed. This is crazy, guys. It looks like Vegeta has Jiren on the ropes. What changed? Vegeta is clearly still in Super Saiyan Blue. It looks like he just got some sort of power up or maybe he's just more focused. But he is pushing Jiren back. Look at the expression on Jiren's face. He is not playing around. It looks like he's actually trying and he's getting pushed back by Vegeta. Is this another My Bulma moment? Like something must have just happened to get Vegeta this focused and this strong instantly. We just saw Jiren casually knocking him away with one hand and what I think was dragging him through the platform. So where is Vegeta getting his power from? Okay guys, this is gonna sound a bit weird, but this has me worried for Vegeta. Whatever is going on here obviously isn't permanent. It's not like Vegeta is gonna keep beating the crap out of Jiren, grab him and throw him off the platform. This is obviously a temporary boost in power for Vegeta. It reminds me, like I just said, very strongly of the My Bulma moment. When My Bulma happened, Vegeta beat the crap out of Beerus for a few seconds but it really had no impact. And then after that, Vegeta just seemed to run out of rage or fuel or whatever was keeping him going. I really hope that doesn't happen here. I hope what happens is that Jiren has to get serious or at least semi-serious to stop Vegeta. And this isn't some sort of temporary power for Vegeta. Maybe he just went serious for the first time. It'll be really cool if the explanation for this is something like, hey, Vegeta hasn't been fighting seriously this entire tournament. This is his actual full power. He just hasn't had a need to use it all tournament. And when you think about it, that's true. Vegeta hasn't had a serious 1v1 in this entire tournament. When he fought Topo, the fight was interrupted. So maybe this is Vegeta at full power. I really hope that's the case. I hope it's not some sort of temporary boost or something like that. I just want to take a second to acknowledge the text on the screen right now. Draw forth beyond your limits. This is Goku talking about Vegeta for the next episode. The thing that's a bit confusing to me is that Vegeta is still in Super Saiyan Blue. So are they going to represent him beyond his limits in Super Saiyan Blue? Is it not going to be a new form or a different look? Again, I hope that's not the case. I want to see Ultra Instinct Vegeta. I'm just putting that out there. I want to see that. This is such a dope image of Jiren. I would really like to see this without the text on top. He is obviously still in his fight with Vegeta, and it looks like he's taking Vegeta a lot more seriously than he did at the beginning of this episode. So this is pretty good. I'm guessing, if I had to guess, this is towards the end of 122. Things are starting to boil down between Vegeta and Jiren. So it's really interesting to see what's going to happen after this. Maybe, maybe we might finally get to see Jiren get serious. Maybe we might see that red aura again after this. This is another dope image. I would love to see this one without the text. This reminds me a lot of Majin Vegeta. For some reason it does. I feel like he had the same look on his face in that fight with Goku. Very dope image. It looks like Vegeta is getting ready to use Final Flash. And as a lot of you guys probably already know, Final Flash is Vegeta's game over technique. So I want to see the kind of damage this does. Obviously it's against Jiren. I want to see the impact this has on Jiren. Guys, Jiren looks shook AF. What's going on here? Listen, I'm not trying to take anything away from Vegeta. I'm a huge Vegeta fan. I'm just scared that they're trying to set us up. They're trying to show us all these clips of Vegeta 
dominate and Jiren when this might only be a very small part of the episode. Like, imagine the preview for the My Boma episode if they showed Vegeta dominating Beerus in Super Saiyan 2. That'll be extremely misleading, wouldn't it? I have a strong feeling that that's what they're doing here. I mean, don't get me wrong though, I'm happy to see Vegeta doing so well against Jiren. Jiren is not the kind of person to play around, so even if it's for a short time only, the fact that Vegeta has this kind of power says to me that Vegeta is stronger than we expected. I just didn't expect to see these scenes of Jiren getting tossed around like that until we saw a new form or possibly even Ultra Instinct from Vegeta. So I'm a little bit skeptical. I'm excited, but I'm a little bit skeptical. And again, that's a giant final flash. Look at the size of that final flash. Where was Vegeta hiding all this power? I'm interested to see how this plays out. It looks like Vegeta is dominating Jiren. I'm skeptical. Obviously, Jiren is still in base form. I would like to see Jiren get serious. Hopefully he fights back, he manages to beat Vegeta down a bit, and that is what triggers Vegeta to finally go into Ultra Instinct for 123. That's what I'm hoping for, but the way things are looking right now, it's almost like Vegeta doesn't even need Ultra Instinct. We'll see though guys, either way, the first episode of 2018, 122 looks like it's going to be crazy. I am excited. If it's anything like 121, it's going to be a treat. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're looking forward to it. Remember, if you have a topic you want me to discuss, feel free to leave it in the comments. The one with the most upvotes, I will likely do a video on. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for checking out this video. Have a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. I may have a surprise Christmas video for you guys tomorrow. I'm going to try my best to get that out. Thank you for all your support, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.